Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Today we are taking a look at another dragon figure, a very rare one. This one's name is Hans Meiser. He's a Panzer Grenadier from Falaise, 1944. And as I said, this is a very difficult one to track down these days. It took me a very long time, so I'm really happy to have this one in the collection. At last, let's take a look at the box here. There is a picture of the figure, a very unique looking one. And there's another picture of him in uh, an action pose there. And the back of the box with equipment listed. And this one came out in 2007. And I do have uh, some stuff still inside here, some uh, clips for his rifle. All right, so very nice looking box. Let's take out the figure now. So I've replicated the pose on the box, but this is a really cool figure. The quality is really good on this one, and overall I was impressed with him. The uniform is definitely uh, very unique. I've never really seen a uniform like this uh, with the different camo designs and then with the blue checkered scarf. It's just uh, very unique. I like it. It's cool. All right, and let me let me get his rifle in his hands for you. And as you can see, what's really cool about this rifle is that it has a grenade launcher, which is very unique. You don't see that a lot. In fact, I'm trying to think of another German figure that comes with a grenade launcher uh, that's not common, that's for sure. I'm sure there's another one, but I can't think of one at the moment. Uh, but yeah, really cool accessory. And definitely makes this figure pop out from some of the others. Okay, so let's take a look at this up close. The main attraction here, of course, is the grenade launcher, which pops off very easily. So there's a look at that. And they do provide you with three grenades for the launcher. I do have one of them out of the box. There's a look at that. All right, and they also give you um, this here, which of course is um, for the grenade launcher, but it's very, uh, I found it a little bit awkward to put on so I've left it off for the moment, um, but you kind of get the idea there. All right, so that's the rifle with the grenade launcher. Very cool. And let's take a look next at uh, the helmet, which is very nice. I like the camo cover on that. Let me take this off. And if you want, you don't have to put the cover on actually. <clears throat> you can take that off if you want. Let me actually take it off for you. And this is a metal helmet. So if you wanted, you could uh, Take the cover off. Um, that also looks pretty cool, I think. I prefer the cover myself, but that also could work. And here is the head sculpt, which is very nice. He's got a pleasant expression on his face. And uh, overall, the detail is good. All right, as for equipment, as you can see, I think the obvious thing here are the grenade bags. And each one has three uh, stick grenades in there. So very cool. Definitely don't see those a whole lot. 
All right, we've got pouches there for the um, clips for his rifle. And then in the back, we've got standard German equipment. There's the gas mask canister. Very nice as usual. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, the uniform for this figure is very unique. Um, got a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, got a lot of different designs going on here. So we've got the um, M40 smock, and that is a spring palm camouflage. That looks very nice. And then, yeah, we've got this checkered scarf, which is very interesting. The Germans definitely have very interesting uniforms, uh, but it surprisingly works. It looks pretty cool, I think, even though it's uh, mis uh, mismatched. All right, and then his pants. I believe this is Italian camo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but another different design there for the pants. Um, but yeah, I think it works. It definitely looks different, but it, it works. All right, and then lastly, we've got his boots. And of course, the uniform underneath, which you can't really see with everything on. Um, but he does have, actually, it's like a, a turtleneck. All right, um, I think that's everything to show for this figure. Overall, I really like him. And I'm definitely happy that I was able to get him. Finally, he is a tricky one to find. And I did get this one off eBay, and I paid around $100. So pretty pricey, but um, I think it's worth it. Um, I would have preferred to pay a little bit less, but considering, you know, the rarity of this one, I think that's a reasonable price for him because he really doesn't show up anywhere. So um, I do recommend checking this one out if you can find him. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. And once again, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.